The Finance Minister Maria Chiwanuka read out the national budget for the fiscal year 2013-2014 and described it as historic because 81% of its funding will be sourced locally. The 13.1 trillion shilling budget rose by 2 trillion shillings, an increase from last year's budget of 11.1 trillion shillings. The macroeconomic objectives underlying the budget strategy next year and over the finite medium term are therefore the following. Achievement of real economic growth of at least 7% in the medium term. To keep annual consumer price inflation to within the single digits. Maintenance of a prudent level of foreign exchange reserves of about five months import cover to mitigate external shocks. And the maintenance of a competitive real exchange rate to support the growth of exports, but taking care not to destabilize local investments. One of the sectors that will take the lion's share of this year's budget is that of roads, with an allocation of 2.3 trillion shillings, as well as an additional 744.7 billion shillings for a road fund at the Uganda National Roads Authority. That sum has gone up from last year's 1.6 trillion shillings. The Uganda Road Fund will fund routine maintenance for 22,500 kilometers of district and town council roads and 4,500 kilometers of Kampala City Authority roads and municipal roads, as well as removal of bottlenecks on 30,000 kilometers of community access roads. A further 1,670 kilometers of paved roads and 9,000 kilometers of unpaved roads will undergo routine maintenance by UNRWA. Speaking at the budget reading event at the Serena Conference Center in Kampala, President Yori Museveni disclosed that an American investor will soon kick off a geothermal project that will double the country's energy supply. An American company known as AAE Geothermal has been licensed to generate electricity from the, the geothermal site around Lake Katwe. They think there may be 300 megawatts in the ground there. The president also weighed in on the growing controversy between Egypt and Ethiopia over the Nile waters with specific regard to the tension sparked recently by Ethiopia's ambitious billion dollar power dam which Egyptian President Mohamed Morsi vowed to resist. I have given these views to the past Egyptian government and to the present one. Therefore, it is advisable that those chauvinistic statements coming out of Egypt are restrained and through the Nairo Valley organization, rational, not emotional, and uninformed statements, discussions take place. No African wants to hurt Egypt. However, Egypt cannot continue to hurt black Africa and the countries of the tropics of Africa. President Yori Museveni, however, remains anxious whether the massive investment in energy will indeed spur economic growth and development as far as the next financial year is concerned. Reina Ojin, NT.